What up, what it do? It's your boy JDQ with Vision IV TV Sports. And just when I thought I seen it all when it came to jewelry and the rap culture, hip hop and rap culture, of course, I've been uh, surprised once more. But before we get to it, make sure you hit that like button on this video, checking out the rest of the playlist on VEB TV Shorts for a good chuckle, a good laugh, or just interesting news altogether within five minutes or less about the rap and hip hop industry and community altogether. That being said, um, yeah, you guys need to look at this. So apparently, Polo G stunts on fans. No, not on his haters. Not on his competition, he stunts on his fans with world's first iPhone chain. We're gonna see what that means in a second. Uh, this article is brought to you by brought to you by hiphopdx.com. In case you're wanting to read the whole entire article and look into other interesting articles and find some good gems. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Polo G has taken to social media to show off his latest unique jewelry purchase, and Soldier Boy has 24 hours to respond. The Chicago native bought the world's first iPhone chain from Atlanta's go to custom bling spot, Icebox. Uh, I'm here with Polo G right now, and we're showing the world's first chain with a screen on it. An Icebox employee said in the clip revealing the chain, Polo G added, yeah, man, hardest chain in the epic game right now. Shout out to the Icebox on Gang. Let's see the video clip real quick. I'm here with Polo G right now, and we're showing you the world's first chain with the screen on it. Yeah, man, hardest chain in the game right now, man. Shout out to Icebox on Gang. This piece is an iced out 3D bulldog holding an iPhone. It weighs over half a kilo and has over 90 carats of BS diamonds. We used red enamel on the B chain and hands. And there's an opening on the left side to charge the iPhone. What would you watch on this chain? Comment below. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's pretty interesting, pretty creative, and pretty uh, unique. Um, I can't even front. It's pretty interesting take on <laughs> on the jewelry, jewelry and accessory and the phone. Um, yeah, definitely I, uh, shout out to Icebox. Um, but yeah. If, I mean, I don't know, man, because listen, I I have jewelry, right? I have jewelry myself. I just don't like, cause I know that was, that's worth a lot. That's worth, you know what I'm saying? That could buy you like a house or two, or maybe a few houses, depending on what price you're putting on it. The, the thing about all this is that it continues to feed people the notion and the concept that, you know, if you are in the game, that's how good and well it's going to go for you, right? And at the same time, it's like, because I'm pretty sure there's like blood diamonds. And if y'all know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, then, you know, just look into it. Blood diamonds. For me, I always like to buy jewelry that's non-blood diamond related, meaning lab created. High grade, yeah, but lab created, meaning... No one had to die for it. No one had to like, you know what I'm saying? Be under extreme duress or like pain or suffering to make it available and possible for me to wear. So that's why I always go with uh, high grade lab created uh, diamonds. If, if and when I do purchase jewelry concerning diamonds, that's just me. Uh, I know a lot of these other rappers do something similar um, or the same thing altogether, but I don't know. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's, th this custom piece is worth all that pain and suffering? Let me know in the comment section below if this was a waste of money uh, or you think it's interesting. I do think it's an interesting piece, but was it worth all the pain and suffering from other people to make it happen? Let me know in the comment section below. Love you guys. JDQ with Vision Ivy TV out.